And a lot of the things you've spoken about here and uh, a few things you touched on in the TED Talk really revolved around mentality. Um, yes. You said there was kind of a, a barrier to you guys getting past the qualifying stages and into the main draw. Um, and you said that sometimes when you're in some of those pressure situations, sometimes you couldn't take those really important shots. So how, how much focus is there in India when you're training or developing on the mental side of the game? Um, well, so I had introduced myself to a certain process where mm -hmm. I used to meditate and visualize before the games. Mm -hmm. Somehow, uh, I got introduced to this process a little later, but I believe that if I could have done it a little more earlier, it would have benefited me. Mm -hmm. um, on the mental aspect, I did not pay a lot of attention genuinely at the beginning. I mm -hmm. thought that it would come to me something something would happen to me and it would come on gradually but mm -hmm. that is not how it works so <laughs> all the athletes who are pursuing their sports I would obviously uh, recommend them that they start this from a very young age mm -hmm. they start visualizing how they want to win what would be their kind of a, how would they be playing visualizing Visualizing, I believe, is one of the most important aspect in sport. Mm -hmm. If you can visualize yourself winning, you will automatically start believing in that. And in the game itself, it will show off. It will show that you are on a very positive side. So I believe uh, visualizing is the most important thing. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, and when, when did you learn about that? Was that from a coach? Was that from a book or a something online or a family member this is something that i learned from i was listening to a ted talk again and mm -hmm. that's where i heard about that's where i learned about what and why visualizing is one of the most important thing mm -hmm. and uh, second most important thing that i learned from that particular ted talk was to pay attention to the small small things in the process of winning Mm -hmm. So just focus on one point at a time, one point at a time. Mm -hmm. And there was a specific exercise that one of my friends had told me that mm -hmm. I used to do. So every time I was playing, I would tell, I would say this to myself that I want to win. I want to win. And somehow, I don't know how it worked, but uh, this kind of a thing was working for me. And even now when I'm playing, I would, I do the same thing and it still works for me. Okay. Oh, that's really good. That's really interesting. So something for some of the players out there to try. If they're watching this and you feel like you're not quite getting there, you're kind of tail off at the end of match. Yeah. No, that's really interesting. So maybe do you think that that is maybe uh, um, one of the weaknesses in the Indian development system in badminton that that those mental factors aren't really taken into account. It's more on court technical fitness type training. Um. I don't think so. I think a lot of attention is being paid to the mental aspect from a younger age group onwards itself. So, mm -hmm. since uh, since I was entered into the sport, my younger sister started training at around the age of uh, five or six, mm -hmm. and uh, she had already started her mental training by the age of ten. Oh wow! Yeah, mm -hmm. and at the age of twelve, uh, she won three international medals. Mm -hmm. So she won three medals in Israel and we could see the kind of improvement that was made into her through that training. Okay. And I see a lot of athletes in the circuit itself right now, all the leading singles players, all the leading doubles player, all of them, all of them are into a lot of uh, mental kind of a training. Mm -hmm. So as an athlete, you can spot those changes. You can see what kind of a change is that particular athlete taking in order to feel much better, feel more confident. So you can see all of those t techniques that psychologists have introduced to them in order to perform better. Mm -hmm. ah, that, that's really interesting and that's good to hear that um, those developments are being made in the system for the coaches to implement more of the mental side of it. I think that's... Just for an example, for an example would be uh, if you've seen Chirag Shetty play. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If you see, he's always very pumped up and he's always jumping after a point. Mm -hmm. So that's something that one of the psychologists told me that he had recommended him to do mm -hmm. 
such a kind of a thing and that's been helping him ah that's pretty good today he's really performing he's performing very well very well mm-hmm. yes yes they are definitely leading the way for for the double side of things in in india mm-hmm. okay so that's really interesting and well that i guess would suggest that the players are actively working with psychologists then the the top indian players yeah they are, they are. all of them are i believe at, even at the smallest of the levels even at the local level they are working with the psychologists mm-hmm. ah, that's really interesting because i think it's always been um uh, maybe a bit of a stereotype that um the mental side of the game hasn't been as focused on in the asian countries compared to somewhere like the us or europe mm-hmm. so, so you think that's changing compare countries if you compare countries like indonesia or thailand yes or uh, Japan or any other countries i believe somewhere i am not 100% sure but all of these athletes have a different kind of a mindset mm-hmm. wherein they don't they don't actually venture out into mental health training or all of these things i believe mm-hmm. they are already that mentally um sound about or they are known about what they should be doing because my coach mm-hmm. also he also played at one of the highest levels but he never told me something about the mental aspect like he never told me that he had to work on any of those aspects because mm-hmm. he was already doing very well mm-hmm. that's interesting yeah. so so maybe there's something culturally ingrained within their systems of of how they coach or yeah. just how people are